This episode of New Jersey Living, we are filming in Milburn, New Jersey. I'm at the train station, as you can see, obviously behind me, this is the train that's heading towards New York on the opposite side of the tracks from where I am. Um, Milburn is a location that is neighboring directly to both Summit, uh, West Orange, and a few other towns that we haven't reported in yet, but we soon will be, uh, Maplewood and Union and Springfield. So we're gonna see a uh, very, very unique to this kind of setting is that it has a mall, it has a downtown dining scene, uh, it has entertainment right here very locally. You see a sign behind me saying, home to Paper Mill Playhouse. This is uh, something that we're gonna cover also for this particular episode. Um, I'm gonna jump in at the front end to remind everyone there are free New Jersey Living t-shirts available. So if you are interested, all you need to do is drop in a comment that you are, we'll connect uh, by email and I will make sure you get uh, your free t-shirt. This is not going on forever, just going on for a limited time. So do take advantage while I'm still handing them out. All right, so, um, as I mentioned, we're at the uh, train station in Milburn. i try to compete with this siren going on behind me. If you have seen my West Orange episode, I began the episode in South Mountain Reserve. This is the extreme southern end uh, of the reserve. Uh, so the reserve is pretty large, but it borders both uh, Milburn and West Orange. So um, we're going to cover some of the downtown scene right now. I just finished up lunch, some uh, great ramen, uh, and I'll flash up that restaurant uh, right now. And we're going to then jump into four properties and some other context uh, about why Milburn is one of the high demand locations in northern New Jersey. All right, so uh, we'll get towards the street footage of the downtown scene now, and then we'll take it from there. I'll see you there. So here is a quick preview of the downtown scene. Uh, it's kind of loud and bustling here, so I'm gonna get into the typical intro once we arrive at Paper Mill Playhouse, which is only a few blocks from here. Um, but you can see this is a Friday afternoon. School has dismissed high school, middle school. They're local, uh, both high school and middle. So you get a ton of students down here right after school. So we are in the midst of rush hour. The dining scene, I'm going to get into a little more specifically, but again, you want to get to a quieter spot. Just want to give a little pan around while I'm still here before I relocate. So next scene will be the intro at Paper Mill Playhouse. I'll see you there. Welcome to New Jersey Living. My name is Corey Jones and I'm a real estate agent here in New Jersey. And my job is to bring content like this to viewers like you on all things New Jersey. So when it comes to the real estate market, social dining scenes, neighborhood footage, iconic locations, all these things we cover in this channel. So if you're viewing, you're in the right place if any of those things are of interest to you. If you are new to the channel, please do click like, subscribe, and the notification bell to stay updated on content like this and more to come. So as I was introing Millburn, as I was in the downtown scene, you can see it's a lot quieter here. We're now at Paper Mill Playhouse. I'm gonna pan up a little bit so that you can see. Uh, this is one of the productions that's coming soon. All right, so Sound of Music is coming for the holiday season. Now, let me give you a little lands of Baldwin Court here. It's kind of a drop off and entry is right behind me to the actual theater. And right now that's playing is On Your Feet, Storio, Emilio, and Gloria Esteban. So uh, this theater, just to pan so you can see the theater itself, uh, is a place where productions like this and even some lo more local uh, productions these um, are often traveling companies that will come here for these productions, but there are also 
local uh, productions with local actors as well. Uh, my kids, we, my wife and I often brought them here uh, when they were younger for a lot of the uh, uh, more kid-centered uh, productions and themes. Uh, but it is a very, very nice theater. Um, productions run throughout the year and it's not just in Milburn, people in Milburn, people from all over, because I don't live in Milburn, but I've come here uh, frequently when my kids were younger, as I mentioned. Um, so Milburn, flashing up the map really fast, you're gonna notice that there are two names that you'll see, Milburn and you'll see Short Hills. Short Hills is an unincorporated section of Milburn. Milburn is the official township, so there's no uh, municipality of Short Hills, but Short Hills is certainly one of the highest demand suburbs of New York City. When you're talking about Northern Jersey, uh, I would say that is probably as close an approximation that you're going to get to Montclair because there is that downtown dining scene, and I would say uh, Ridgewood is going to be up there as well. Um, schools were jumping to the big three right away. I came from the train station, so you already know there are trains here. Um, and there is a Short Hill station as well, so there's actually two stations here in Milford. Um, you have um, proximity in terms of uh, drive to New York City from where we are. We are directly by Summit and we're directly um, neighboring to uh, West Orange. So you're talking about a commute into Manhattan. And when I say Manhattan, I always reference Midtown, Lincoln Tunnel, um, unless I'm talking Hudson. Hudson, I may use uh, the Holland Tunnel. But generally the suburbs I'm referencing Lincoln Tunnel, you're talking about a 40 minute drive maybe uh, from where we are right now. So convenient drive, trains here and schools are excellent. Uh, even the private school, Pingree, uh, Pingree's Grammar School, uh, K-8 campus is right here. Uh, I must have taken that back, it's K-6 now. K-6 campus is here uh, in Short Hills, Milburn. So we're going to take a look at one property in Milburn, uh, a general dividing line of what's considered Milburn versus Short Hills is what's south of the uh, railroad tracks, what's closer to downtown. Uh, that section is Milburn. Once we get into the more quieter, hilly suburbs uh, that get closer to uh, Summit, then we're talking about Short Hills. All right, that's kind of a very ge generic uh, guideline. But we're gonna see price points that reflect high demand. All right, so there's no budget shopping really when it comes to Short Hills and Milburn. These are premium prices because of the level of demand. So those who are hunting for that kind of uh, experience, this is certainly something that you wanna take a look at today. Even if it's not your budget, it's good to know just what are some things uh, to know about New Jersey. So we're going to um, jump to our first property, which is right here in the downtown section. Uh, then we're gonna skip over into the Short Hills area and again, because of the fact of this having a downtown dining scene as well as a indoor shopping mall. So Short Hills Mall is an indoor shopping mall that draws throughout the entire area of Essex County and even some Union County uh, that are regular shoppers there. These are some of the conveniences that you're going to get. Uh, there's a golf course here, you have a country club, you have parks. Uh, everything that you would want uh, for a suburb is right here, which is why, again, there's such high demand. So we're going to get the tour started with our first stop. I'll see you there. So we're at our first stop at 18 Rahway in Milburn. This property was on the market 32 days altogether. So there was definitely some room to negotiate. The initial list price was $8.95, sold at $8.60. Three bed, two and a half bath. And just pan around the neighborhood. This is uh, what you're looking at when you're talking about the 800s in Milburn. All right, so um, you see it's a moderate size, kind of a um, colonial look, I believe. In the back, the garage goes underneath, I, I believe. Um, but this uh, gives you comfortable three bed, two and a half bath, well-maintained, not newly renovated, uh, but updated, well-maintained, considering that the construction was 1939. Uh, so it certainly has been updated from uh, that particular date but nothing like a brand new uh, renovation but very very well maintained in a quiet tree-lined street homes are pretty much of a consistent kind of look 
Uh, and from the downtown scene, not a super convenient walk. It's probably more like a 15 minute to 20 minute walk to get uh, downtown. Um, but bike ride or just a leisurely walk in nice weather would be perfectly fine. So this gives you that taste of what the lower end looks like. Uh, and I know it sounds kind of crazy, maybe compared to some other things that we've seen uh, in some other markets. Uh, but yes, this is uh, just shy of 900 is what we see right now here in Milburn. So now we're going to get into Short Hills and everything for Short Hills on this list. As always, everything sold within the past 30 days, everything's going to be uh, over a million for those three. All right. So off to Short Hills as we leave the downtown area of Milburn. I'll see you there. We're at our first short hill stop here at One Bruce Path. Uh, this is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, brick colonial as you can see behind me. Um, original list price was 1.588, was dropped down to 1.538, so, sold at 1.530 million. Uh, so again, it was on the market for a little while, 50 plus days, not out of the ordinary in the higher price points because as you, uh, can probably do the math there's fewer buyers in your 1.5 million dollar range as there would be in a 500 to say 700 thousand dollar range so those properties tend to last a little longer but um milburn is relatively high no i'm saying milburn we're in milburn but short hills is high demand uh they strategically drop price got a sale uh the square footage is not provided which is not uncommon uh on a lot of uh the suburban homes uh for various reasons, they rather stay away from getting precise with square footage. If it's not precise, it could become issues with uh, a buyer contending that you know there was some kind of misrepresentation when it comes to appraisals and inspections. So, um, but something this size, I would safely say, is in the neighborhood of about anywhere from about 2,500 to low 3,000, 3,200. Also, depending on if the basement is finished or not. Uh, but very uh, comfortable size lot driveway over there on the side of the curb um, just to pan around this is a uh, pretty much an open space behind me um, with a little bit of a, a ditch ravine over here so it's not a lot um, of building that's gonna happen right here in front of me uh, so very comfortable surroundings on a relatively narrow street but I can tell you it's not a place that I've seen any traffic whatsoever and we're kind of in that higher traffic time of day in the uh, later afternoon. So this gives you that taste of the mid 1 million, 1.5 ish, and we're going to continue to work our way up with the next two properties. So I'll see you there. All right, here we are at 443 Long Hill Drive in Short Hill section. And just to pan around, you can certainly see compared to one Bruce, in terms of the neighborhood, size of homes, size of lots, that's gonna spell out different size in terms of budget, of course. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, again, like one Bruce. However, this is a recent renovation, uh, 2020. So in the past two years, this had a significant uh, renovation and upgrade here. Uh, two car garages in the back. Um, and for the price point, so listed at 1.938, sold at 2.25. Only $26,000 uh, of annual taxes at that rate, which is pretty, pretty good. All right, as we uh, look around in some towns, particularly as we get into uh, Bergen County, um, easily a 1.3, $1.5 million home uh, can have $26,000 of taxes or even $30,000, depending on the municipality. Uh, but this is a very kind of tax friendly uh, location. So this is as we start to step up a little bit in both size, uh, even general de demographic, um, when I say demographic, I'm speaking, of, speaking of types of homes uh, in the variety of homes, not so much people. Um, 
you'll see uh, um, the differences here with the aesthetic. I should use that term, the aesthetic, uh, than what we saw before. So take a look at some of the road footage I'm shooting now uh, that you're gonna see once I leave here and you'll get to appreciate some of what I'm uh, referencing in terms of the, the general uh, neighborhood. But again, uh, this is uh, high demand because schools, train, shopping, um, proximity, you have it all here. All right, uh, so enjoy the footage as we approach our final stop, which is going to be the feature property of this particular tour. So stick around, see you there. Here we are at our final stop at 32 Spencer Drive in Short Hills. Uh, this is the feature property given the size, number of beds and baths, which reflected in the price point. So this is a seven bedroom, seven and a half bath property. List price initially was 3.35, Yes, and dropped down to 3.395, sold just under 3.325. All right, so this is uh, reflective of, again, the property is over 3 million. There are not many buyers. Your buyer volume shrinks definitely uh, when you just get above 2 million. But so above three, you can imagine in this kind of area, there's even fewer. Um, so it was on the market 50 plus days. Uh, but eventually uh, sold again, uh, less than two months still. All right, so this is one worth looking up. This is a recent renovation. This was a 2020 uh, renovation, so everything pretty much is new. Uh, just panning around, this is an area where you're gonna see a lot of colonials, I would say on par with um, where we just came from um, on Long Hill. Um, Long Hill, I would say that you probably had even larger lot sizes actually there. Uh, what separated this from a price point uh, standpoint certainly is the new renovation one and the number of bed and baths too. So it's not so much purely because of neighborhood versus the property, individual property itself, because the previous neighborhood, I would say probably had more higher uh, in homes in terms of your uh, general price point. Uh, location, we are, uh, we're in Short Hills, but we're just a few blocks from uh, the Pingree School, the lower school. The lower school, I believe is actually K to five. I said K to six early. I think the lower school is K to five. That is a private school, um, kind of like college tuition though, that you pay. Uh, easily uh, tuition can be a 30. It has to be at least 30 plus by, by this point in time. Um, I remember, you know, my son uh, considering that uh, if he could get a scholarship. But uh, yeah, this is um, a scenario where many people in town still opt for the Pingry School, even though the school, the public schools here are phenomenal, uh, excellently rated. Uh, the Pingry experience is a little different. It's a private setting, and uh, they do offer something a little different from what the public schools do provide. Um, so yes, people still do uh, choose that as an option. Uh, occasionally you'll have diplomats that come here internationally, uh, live if not in town in the area, will send, send their kids to the Pingree School as well. Um, so yeah, just uh, giving a general pan around again, just giving a feel for uh, neighborhood setup here. Uh, and there are areas that you will get more of an exclusive feel for three million plus. But just going back to what I my earlier comments is more reflective of the house than specifically of neighborhood. So I am hoping that you were able to get some insightful information about Milburn and Short Hills. Uh, those who uh, have been supporting and following those Jersey Hunters, thank you again. I really appreciate you. Um, those who are new, please do click like, subscribe, and notification bell. Stay updated on our content that is still coming your way. We still have loads and loads of content to post and to publish. So um, stay tuned, stay safe. I'll see you next episode.